everyone, grace and peace to you if you are new to my channel. Hi there, my name is Timmy. Welcome. And if you are not new, welcome back and thank you so much for your support. So today, before I even start today's video, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and yours. And I'm sorry that it's coming probably super late into the year, but better late than never. So I want to say Happy New Year. I hope the New Year is going very well for you because it's going very well for me. It's a chill. It's like I came into the New Year really chill, just, you know, flowing right in and I'm just loving it. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for life. Thank you for my, thankful for my family. And I hope that you are also enjoying the New Year so far and may we continue to enjoy the rest of the year and beyond in Jesus name. Let's get into today's video. As you probably already know, I haven't given it a real name yet, but the vibe is pretty much just chill little chit chat as well as doing makeup because honestly that's the vibe i've been just feeling for a while now actually since last year really but yeah i'm getting to it and i'm in the zone in the mood and just feeling it and i hope you are too so if you want to do makeup along with me go ahead and get yourself together you know get your makeup out and let's do this makeup together and if not you can just watch me and just listen and let's chit chat and talk i have a couple of talking points that i've listed out down here that i want to kind of just talk about some of the products that i'll be using i might talk about them and i might not because also i'm talking through this video and i don't usually talk and do things as you as yeah, you know, usually I'm gonna try to talk about them, but before I do start, I am trying some new products. Sort of like I bought it, but I never really touched it until now. And also some products that are actually that just came out, like I believe last year in the, the month of December, or probably around earlier in January. But yeah, so let's get this make up day or makeup therapy whatever makeup chit chat going so let me start with channel direction i'm not quite sure what my channel direction is but i do know that youtube is pushing more shorts than long form videos but for some reason me i enjoy long form videos i really really do i enjoy vlogs i enjoy makeup videos what i create is also what i'm probably gonna gravitate towards so i totally enjoy that and i believe for my channel i mean i'm still pretty small but i still i really enjoy what I do so therefore I'm gonna just keep doing what I enjoy doing so that if it does blow up or grow or whatever I will continue enjoying it you know what I mean because some people do videos that are viral whatever and then they can't continue producing that same content which not good I've had this milk make milk primer for a while now but uh, I haven't used it that much but and, th and the reason why I actually haven't used it that much is because I was sort of be I'm not a big fan of like um, gel like product but I feel like if you don't use too much then it wouldn't peel but if you do use a lot then yeah that's why it's gonna peel off but I've gotten a hang of it now so this is like my third time using it since I started getting you know used to using gel products I also have that elf gel primer or whatever grip primer I think it's supposed to be the dupe for this uh, milk hydro grip and I haven't actually opened that one which is interesting so by God's grace in the near future in another video I'm going to use that so for this video though I have a couple of new makeup sort of new makeup that I have had and I've used them over the couple of months or weeks that I bought them that is the Juvia's Place foundation I'm debating between that and my makeup by Mario foundation so I'm not sure yet I did use my Juvia's Place yesterday because we went out to a, a party and but I do like this shade this is the shade in Angola so I might go with that one since I already have it out anyway but yeah you know you guys know that I I, I sign up with uh, Skeepers and I have this product here it's called uh, Fresh it's by Fresh Beauty Advanced Lip Treatment oh my gosh I love it it's what I have right now and every time I try I put it on I use this almost pretty much every morning now it's like it softens my lips because I have dry skin and dry lips as well but whenever I use it especially fresh out of the shower put it on it just keeps my lips moisturized I have my warm water I've been drinking warm water lately I don't know why but I prefer that warm water as opposed to um, cold water I don't know it just feels more refreshing to me and I think I heard that it's better for you let me just show you guys the quick product that I like that I'm that I'm gonna be trying today oh I already tried so this one is a Juvia's Place cream it's the peptide and ceramide cream this is like a dupe for the Tatcha Dewey cream honestly because I've used it at least three four times and this is the packaging it's so pretty and so cute and I used it already I'm purposely waiting so that my primer would set 
set in before I go into the next thing because that's one thing I've learned you kind of have to wait for the product to set into your skin before you just keep piling and piling and piling on this cream has like a scooper thingy it feels literally it doesn't smell exactly but it feels literally like the Tatcha Dewy skin cream it's like the dupe for this so and this one is I think $36 I don't know how much the Tatcha one is but it seems like that one the full price is is much 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 expensive I also received this it's beauty blender it's a beauty blender bounce bronzer and highlighter I've used this once and I like it so this is from Influenza. I'm actually supposed to do a review of it which I will be doing a review of but this will be my second time using it in this video oh I picked up the the I am magic powder foundation in Angola I wish I had gotten a different shade because the shade that you pick for the foundation is not exactly the same as for the uh, powder foundation so this one is way too dark and way too red for me so I'm probably not gonna buy it another one because I don't really see myself using powder foundation often I just wanted to try to see if it will complement the liquid foundation or the radiant foundation by Juvia's Place but if I can find someone that's darker than me that would like this and that's how, that also has warm like red undertone this would be perfect for them it's a good formula it's just not for me but then I got this too this is the Juvia's Place Olory palette uh, Juvia's Place Olory 1 and Olory 3 so I most likely will be using this for like an eyeshadow pick this up because when you sign up for those text messages and they send you like all these exclusive sales so these were like four dollars each and I was like why not anyways let's move on to spray my face I am going to be using this elf stay all day blue light micro setting spray Mm, let that sink in and settle down into my skin I picked up a couple of things also from Sephora which is the makeup by Mario I got a an Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow pomade I still have my Merit Beauty one too but I just wanted to try I think I was I'm running out of that already and I figured let me try another brand and the Anastasia one is the one that so let me give it a try and I think it was on sale too that's why I picked it up usually I would use a powder under my foundation still thinking and debating on if I'm gonna do that because I've been just doing my makeup in a rush lately <laughs> and if it's sitting well and doing well honestly I'll use eyeshadow and I will not use primer now yesterday I didn't use primer but it my eyeshadow did crease but there are some times where I would just use eyeshadow and it wouldn't crease so I don't know we'll see so there was a campaign that happened for skippers right I told you guys I can't do two things at a time right so let me just quickly find what I want to start with first which is my brows I want to start with my brows okay one moment let me do my brows and I'll be back and then we can keep talking all right my brows are done looking great I pretty much just used the brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just cleaned it up a bit and that's pretty much it I didn't do anything else to it now I'm just gonna actually start with my shadows eyeshadow first because I find that things just go a little bit faster and smoother and I'm using this uh, thank me later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Moth I used it before seems to be pretty good and it's um, kind of dries on Claire so let me talk to you guys about skippers well this is not sponsored or anything but I just wanted to like share you know how when you feel like unmotivated to do things but then you're like you know what let me just do it because I kind of enjoy doing it you know like doing this uh YouTube videos uh Instagram uh reels well not Instagram much anymore because I don't know I I don't really do Instagram much anymore but I TikTok maybe is what I'm trying to talk about I do TikTok a lot most of my TikTok content is like on products that I've been sent from like skippers that I've decided you know selected or from or just random other random things so there was this campaign that happened with skippers where you pretty much enter in that campaign which is also like a giveaway and I was like why not give it a try the thing with skippers is you get to select what you want I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about that several times like I said nothing is sponsored it's just this is just something that I don't know I just find that if you're if you want content to be producing content and you're and you're into the beauty lifestyle type of content creation type of thing this is like an avenue when you're feeling like a little bit low motivation or like you're not like having content to create enough content or whatever this would be something you can do because it's timed and you pretty much have to create well now you don't have to because once you stop then you just stop getting products but you kind of get motivated or encouraged to create something with the products that are sent to you especially even if you don't like it because I have created some videos video on a product that I received that I didn't like and I talked about it and I said I didn't want you know I didn't like the product in the video because you can't tell me not to say something is nice when it's not nice or something is good and it's not good 
But anyways, what I'm trying to get at is that I entered the contest type thing and I, and if you win, you get $500 gift card from, to Amazon. I didn't even think about, oh, I'm going to get it because they're like not only hundreds, probably over thousands of people that entered into this thing. And I was shocked when the, when I got an email that, oh, you won the campaign, like you won 500 bucks. I was like, what? <laughs> New sneakers from me, <laughs> new whatever for me. And I was just shocked. And I was like, hmm. I really was almost, I, the funny thing is I was close to like just canceling and stopping to create content and just be like watching people's videos, watching people's content. But I was just like, hmm. Is this a sign? Because I be, pr I, be I, you know, I pray about these things and I'm like, God, if this is not for me. I beg, let me just stop because there's no need for me to waste my time, you know. But I was just like really shocked, honestly. I was like, okay, I guess all your work, all the hard work that you do is really, yeah, I guess it's paying off because someone's seeing that you're doing your best and you are putting in the work and you are deserving of this gift and I was just thankful that you know I was out of so many of those people that I'm pretty sure are doing their best as well and giving their best and putting their self out there I was like honored to give to get this uh, reward girl the money is already gone because I already spent it but still like I'm just thankful that that I was considered this is like me sharing this to anyone out there that if you want to start something look just start it, even if it sucks. Funny thing is, it actually might not suck because if you yourself, you like what you're putting out, then it doesn't suck. That's really what matters. If you yourself, when you create a content and you look it over and you're like, okay, this is good. I like this because I would watch this if it wasn't me that created it and I, and I saw that I would watch it, then it's good enough. Anybody else or anything else that says anything about you or what you create is not good. That's their perspective. Everybody's eyes is seeing what they see so think of it like they have their own their eyes is like their own glasses and what you see if you like in it and it's not hurting anyone else keep doing that and keep doing it because other people's lenses that matches yours when they see it then it will work out let me just show you guys this palette this is beautiful this is olori one and that's what that looks like isn't that beautiful the camera is not doing much justice but gorgeous this is olori three. Oh, i love this one especially that brown right there that is a beautiful shade so i'm gonna just probably you do a mixture of both i'm not sure yet but we'll see anyway so i just wanted to like share that and stop waiting to be motivated just rather be disciplined oh my gosh when i don't even know what podcast i was listening to because i listen to a lot of podcasts i listen to a lot of i also watch a lot of youtube videos that are motivating inspirational and even some vlogs that have some in within those vlogs there are some helpful tips that kind of encourages me as well as anyone that watches them to to, you know do better and just be disciplined so stop waiting to be motivated and just do just be disciplined and do it you know just like today I was watching someone's vlog actual actually and she just said it out of in passing or maybe she wrote it down as well but she just like don't be busy be productive that makes super 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 sense I'm busy but I'm busy being productive is what I would focus on because it makes sense like don't be just busy it's like being a wanderer but rather be productive with whatever it is you're doing comparison is the thief of joy don't compare yourself literally just do you mind your it's like drink your water and mind your business type of thing and do keep doing what works for you that's exactly how i see this uh called life because 2022 was like it's like a rude awakening for me in in the sense that i was just like oh wow i didn't realize you know how when people view you differently thinking you, you know you reveal you are viewed in a more i don't know different way but then you, they re, then they show how they really see you and you're like whoa i didn't see that coming so i've just been like girl focus on you do you and just literally i've been just like mm -hmm. i'm gonna keep living my life because guess what either of us could not wake up the next day and i wouldn't want to be focusing on all that when you can literally focus on your own growth on your own peace of mind you're living for god and you're living fully for god wholesomely just sort of living in the moment especially with my family with the kids and all that and not like letting anybody or anything distract me so yeah i pretty i just wanted to kind of share that i'm so glad that i'm able to get back on track so i realized over, over the year of 2022 you don't own your own life it's god that owns your life and he's the one that's been watching you and your family every single moment every single day so choose gratitude be grateful that he 
he loves you despite all the nonsense and things that you've been doing over the past probably since you were born be thankful and he's kept you this far you know so choose gratitude i'm one of the people that this year created a vision board i didn't share it i'm not gonna share it in the video but i did do that and i find myself actually sticking to what i wanted on my vision board and i was just like okay these people talk about this thing on this youtube thing these people talk about oh write this down do this do a vision board do a digital one a whatever one i was like mm, does it really work or these people just doing this for content purposes but honestly sometimes some things that you think are just for content or like yeah it's just social media stuff i guess some people thought about it for them to share it maybe it worked for them and it may not work for you but i guess if it works for one person it could work for another person maybe not you and i just thought about okay let me just give it a try because i've heard about it for years and i just never really said oh this would be for me but then when i tried it and i was like let me just create it i created it but it's on my phone i didn't like go and create a whole physical one or whatever i just created it and put it on my phone i'm like let's see where this goes and i find myself every time I, I turned I now created it and I used it as my the wallpaper for it that's right that's what I'm trying to talk about the wallpaper for my phone and whenever I see it it reminds me of how motivated and how enthusiastic I was about you know sticking to this vision board so give it a try you never know some people do all this five minute journaling some people do like to-do list they have like a whole binder or book or whatever it works for them it works for them I like this the one I'm doing which is just having that vision board on my on my my screen saver or whatever on my phone and every time i look at it it reminds me okay this is what i want to stick to for this year and uh it has been very effective for me so i would definitely recommend something like that or anything else that you've heard of that that you think might work for you i would definitely try it if i were you you know if you are trying to like be disciplined and stay on track on things give that a try part of that is actually a conversation i had with my husband and he was like you know you used to like reading or whatever i still really don't like reading but i still try it's part of the vision board thing which is a book so this book right here let me show you guys i'm pretty sure you guys have heard of this this is the michelle obama book um the light we carry i've already started reading it before i even bought this book i was like what time will i have to be reading this book i don't think i have time then i realized i actually do have the time i'm the one that is telling myself things certain things that i shouldn't it's like don't self is it self-depreciate or they're self-deprecate whatever the word is and don't discourage yourself with the words that you that you use right so i'm like okay let's change my mindset of when i hear something don't just like fashy it i don't know if that makes sense or if that may, if that's the right word like don't put it aside don't throw it out of the window give it a try you never know and i have been practicing changing the mindset of not letting feelings rule the rule my mind but rather logic think about it if if it makes sense you know if it does make sense then then go for it you know depending on what you read too sometimes some things that you read gone you should not read it because it's not really fueling your mind but depending on what you read some books are boring too so just decide on the right book and if it's good for you and it's filling your soul your mind inspiring you helping you like actualize and realize and all that then go for that so this book so far has been really good so far and that's that's my book i'm not gonna push it and say i want to read five books in one month god knows this one i really will stick to until i finish it i'm not gonna give myself a timeline i'm just going to read it and enjoy it you know so that's another thing when you're setting goals don't overwhelm yourself in, when you're setting your goals just just go for it be disciplined at it and see through to it i think that's another thing when you give yourself timeline oh i have to get it done by summer sometimes you'll be like well it's summer what was it that i even sent to my siblings the other day i was like i don't know who sent it to me it says january january is a test run we go for real in february unless february is also bad in which case it is a rehearsal for march don't give up is what that I, that's what i get from that quote or whatever it's like just because everybody wants to um, lose weight for the for the new years or whatever you start and then you give up at like january 15 or whatever don't give up just keep going don't give up and be disciplined that's the number one thing discipline consistency and not giving up on those goals will definitely help you get to where you're trying to go to you get what i mean so yeah i'm literally on that mindset like life's too short i'm really here to enjoy the moment and just enjoy the people that are also open to enjoy my vibe that are open to enjoy my presence as well if they are not me i shift and move to move on to the next one you know because you cannot come and give yourself for anyone that definitely not worthy of your time you know let me know if you guys like this type of video because i really am enjoying myself just chill 
chilling and just talking and just chit chatting. Pretty much almost done. I don't know if I want to do um, sparkles. This is like an everyday, not necessarily everyday, a little bit of like, let's step out and hang out and do things type of look for me. I'm going to actually go with my Makeup by Mario foundation. This Makeup by Mario foundation is like giving. Look at that. Wow. This is in the shade 26N if you are wondering. And if you have like similar skin tone with like me. So let me finish my makeup and we can just finish this whole video out and I could uh, show you my final look. Oof. Get into the look y'all. Come on. Like this makeup by Mario foundation guys is hidden. Everything is just given today. I'm just, I love it when a makeup look works out fine like perfectly you get <laughs> i want to say thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like my video also subscribe if you're yet to subscribe especially if you're new subscribe because you know we got a lot coming and also if you have any comments about you know what we talked about any part of it that resonates with you you know share them in the comment section let's talk let's chit chat we are in a new vibe this whole year let's just ride it you know i'm feeling it so thank you again and i hope to see you guys in my next video Bye.